my name is Cliff Lee. I live in Pennsylvania, Lancaster. People call me potter, but by my profession, I'm making pots for a living. So they call me potter. Uh, when I was MD, one morning, I was in the hospital, make a run. And one of my patients, she was ready to be discharged. So I asked her, what are you doing for a living? She said, I make pot for a living. I said, oh, oh, that's very dangerous. That's illegal. Don't do that. She said, no, 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 Dr. Lee, I'm not do, no, making that th those things. I make ceramics, pottery. I said, oh, I'm sorry. And uh, she invited me to go to her studio. So on my day off, I went to her studio. And uh, she showed me what she made. And uh, she said, on potter's wheel, she threw pots. And then later on, she said, would you like to try? I said, of course. No, give it a try. I put my apron on. And then I sat there, and the time just flies. My whole day just goes. I said, oh, oh, that's wonderful, because it's almost like meditation. I got hooked. And after that, a few months later, I bought a potter's wheel. I started making pots in my basement. That gave me started. Uh, every step of the way, it's a challenge to, to be a potter. First, financially, it's very, you make a very meager living. And then, you want to make pots. You, uh, because I didn't, don't, I did not have an instructor. Then, I had to search. I do everything myself. I make my own clay. I, I develop a lot of glazes myself. And then, I have to do a lot of experiments. And then sometimes you think you overcome, you did it, and then they show you, oh, oh no, you are not. Now I face any new challenges. So until today, I still facing challenges. I meet a lot of interesting people, and then I sell my work to those people who become my friends, personal friends. Also, all the craft artists, almost like a family. And we're so happy to see each other you know, when we see each other. So this is a wonderful life.